I also want to talk to you about NFTs. Have you heard of the, the new have heard market NFTs. for NFTs? Mm-hmm. What are your thoughts on, on that? Do you think it's going to be something big? NFTs make sense. This is the, this is mm-hmm. the cryptocurrency, not cryptocurrency, this is the blockchain technology that I understand. Um, it does make sense, but I do think that there is a lot of hype and people trying to profit off of it before, I guess, the bubble burst because I don't think a lot of NFTs have value. The only NFTs that I see having value are ones that are backed by, you know, legitimate corporations or, you know, institutions. But I feel like people, you know, making their own NFTs and selling them and, you know, making certain profit is, you know, I don't want to say it sounds like a scam, but you're just, (laughs) I guess, profiting off of people's, you know, naive, naiveness, naivete. I don't know. I don't know the word I'm trying to use. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. Ignorance. I know. know. Yeah. Ignorance. (laughs) (laughs) That's essentially what it is. Yeah. Yeah. But. Yeah, the NFTs are basically like the art version of actual art, but you could make anything art, really, Mm -hmm. right? That you could grab a clip of this podcast and it could be an NFT, right? Like that's what it's supposed to be, I guess. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I think it's a cool idea Mm -hmm. that anything could be art, like any any digital uh, piece can be art. Because I think... uh, there, there were people that started this project. I'm not sure. I think it's called cyberpunks or, or something. And they mm-hmm. created this art on there and it's just crypto art where you could buy it. And some of these pieces, it, it, it was going for like $50,000 just for like the, the small how. little, <laughs> like, like it, it's just like a PNG file. Like anybody mm-hmm. could screenshot it, but it, that's the thing with crypto or NFTs really is that they're saying you'll, you'll only be the, the one person to have that because you'll be certified to have mm-hmm. that NFT that it'll yeah, be in the, the blockchain and the blockchain. Yeah. yeah. But yeah. So it'll be there, but anybody could just screenshot it or have the video and play it, but that won't be the official one. It'll be like a counterfeit, right. <laughs> you know, that's like, who's really going to know? Thing, so. Yeah, nobody, nobody's gonna know. It's exactly. just a video, and and yeah, it, I think you have to have like a passcode, or you gotta keep that safe somewhere so that you know, like that you can unlock the NFT. So it's weird though. But, I do, I do think it would be yeah. weird, you know, if going to like an art museum and you just see like QR codes everywhere instead of you know the the physical yeah. painting itself. Um, I don't want that to go away. I do appreciate you know original artwork and it's you know original form so i know there's some institutions that are like burning their art and converting it to nfts i feel like they're jumping the gun a little bit too early it's like yeah it's like yeah yeah, that's business (laughs) for one yeah tourists you know people go now people go to go ahead yeah right now i think more people would prefer like physical art especially like if it's a van gogh painting or like Picasso mm-hmm. like you want to see that in real life you know mm-hmm. if the Mona Lisa gets converted into an NFT like what's the point what's the, yeah it's like you know <laughs> you're taking away years of work of like protecting that piece and whatnot I mean yeah. I guess you can leave it in storage so it doesn't get I guess damaged over time or like, I guess degrade slower over time but you know people go to countries like literally spend hundreds, not hundreds, but thousands of dollars, you know, trying to see, you know, the Mona Lisa or, you know, a Vincent Van Gogh piece. And, you know, for mm-hmm. them to just say, hey, walk inside, pull up your smartphone, scan the QR code. There it is. You can verify that this institution owns this piece. It's like, uh. yeah. Yeah. I, and plus, I think when you go to a museum, I don't want to look at a phone to see art. Like, I want to see mm-hmm. the real thing, how it was meant to be like by the artist how how they intended the work to be not just some like basically screenshot or like photo of it you know Mm -hmm. so i don't know about the the paintings like in museums like the one you have behind you or or like this or you know i don't think that should be converted into just the digital file but i think graphic design artists could have a, a big 
uh, increase in this because their art is already digital, right? So they're mm-hmm. making designs digitally. And if they convert that to an NFT and they could sell that, you know, that's actually a good good business now for them because I don't know, right now they might not be have that level of platform because I think the art art industry in general like prefers the physical paintings that people do, but now they might mm-hmm. prefer the digital art. So right. yeah, it'll, it'll be interesting their, to see. Even with the um, the artists that are doing digital art, it'll be easier for them to, you know, prove that that's their artwork and not someone else's online. Yeah. And saying, hey, this yeah. is actually mine. I can prove it through the blockchain. Yeah.